So let's take a look at a slightly more complex uh, application. The, the reason why I want to do this is because, you know, maybe maybe creating a blog is, is fairly simple, but to create a more complex application like we are going to be developing in this course. So we're going to be building a recipe search engine. So when you want to develop a more complex application, things get, you know, a little bit harder. And especially if you start receiving a lot of traffic and you, and you need to scale your application. So we need to see things to consider whenever you're developing an application, especially when you're developing on a platform which is not Google App Engine, because the, the nice thing about App Engine is that it takes care of most of these things for you. Okay. So one, the first thing you need to take into consideration is you need to install and configure different services. Okay. So you need to install and configure your, your front end servers, maybe your cache servers. So cache caching is basically a, a temporary form of memory, which is much faster than, than saving things to databases. But the, the catch is that it's temporary. So while databases store things forever, unless you delete them, items being saved in the cache may, may get lost. Okay. But this is much quicker than, than, than using databases. So it's, it's useful for certain things. Okay. So for imagine, imagine your user requests a website, a, let's say a recipe page containing a recipe, its ingredients and the instructions to prepare the recipe. Well, if that, if that recipe page is being requested by another user, by a second user, does the server need to actually go ahead and, and fetch the, and figure out what the user is requesting just to find out that it's exactly the same thing that the previous user fetched? Well, no, because we could save the, the outcome of that request into our cache server. And whenever another user requests for the exact same thing, we can simply serve it out of the cache instead of maybe having performing some kind of database operations, which take more time, okay, which are slower. So like that, we can make the user experience much better because we're serving pages much quicker. And we don't care if this page gets lost or, or gets thrown out of our cache memory because, you know, we can simply just go ahead and fetch it from the database again, even though it takes longer, then we'll just fetch it because we don't have it here and then save it in our cache. Okay. So that for next request, we can serve it out of the cache. Okay. Then databases. Usually when you try and scale your normal database, so for example, let's say MySQL is a very popular, popular database. Well, what the typical architecture is that you have a master. So whenever you need to write something to your database, let's say you are writing a new recipe, you write it to your master and then the master database goes ahead and replicates it to its slaves. Okay. So we have a identical copy on different slaves. And the original copy is on the master. So this is done because we always are going to write to a master and read from the slaves. So this increases the performance and, and makes the databases scale much better. Okay. Well, here you have a problem because you need to set up all of this architecture. You need to create various databases. You need to make sure that they replicate. And usually replication is not immediate. So there's a delay between whenever something is saved in the master and then we can read it out of the, the, the slave. Okay. So this replication takes time. So all of that is a pretty painful process. And then we have the search indexes. So imagine you want to have some similar functionality like Google, where you type in a couple of keywords and it goes ahead and fetches all of the items it has in the search index who, which contain those keywords. Okay and then even ranks them according to relevancy. So again, installing these is, is a complex task because search engines are, are pretty complex. And then whenever you're, you're going to try and replicate them, because you, you need to, to, to manage a high volume of traffic, well, this gets very complex. Now, luckily for us, App Engine has us covered on that. There's a very simple API we're going to be using. And then we can have some kind of backend application. So this is all of the, the, the part that the users see, but then we can have, for example, back a backend application. So imagine we're going to send a, a weekly newsletter about recipes to our users. Well, 
what's going to happen is we're going to fetch all of the hundreds of thousands or even millions of users on our database if we're lucky and hopefully we will be and then we're going to send this information to our email servers so that they send out the emails and to do this and for our email servers not to get overwhelmed by the amount of, um, you know, emails that we want to send out, we're going to send all of this, all of these requests through a queue. And a queue, what it does is it, it creates a queue of work to be sent to the email servers and sends them one by one or at a fixed rate, but the, the rate is fixed. So we're not going to, you know, hammer these servers with, with a ton of requests at the same time. We're going to gradually send them on a constant rate so our email servers can, can actually cope with all of the load of the work that we're sending. So again, th this is, you know, more infrastructure that we have to s set up and this can be a very complex task. Okay. So, so here the, what's called the DevOps or the, the operations of our application is going to be high because, you know, we need to set up this load bal balancer, which is going to split the traffic between all of our front end servers. Then we have to set up our cache servers. We have to set up our databases and the replication. We have to set up and install the search indexes, the backend servers, the queues, the email servers, and all of this is very complex. Scaling this is part of the, the, the operations of all this. So, so making sure that in each moment we have the right amount of servers everywhere and that, that, that the response times are, 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 you know, are correct and, and, and acceptable for our users. So all of this is, 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 you know, is, is pretty hard. And, and additionally here in, in point number five, we have, you know, usually we are always going to be developed. We are usually going to be developing on our local computer. And oftentimes it happens that, you know, the operating system on our local computer is not the same as the server running our application. And that can cause many problems because maybe we have we don't have the exact same version of different libraries that come with operating systems and and so that can be a big pain and the final point is regarding making our application fast because we want the, our application to be as fast as possible and serve our users requests in the minimal amount of time as possible so you know Oftentimes, what we need to do is if we are a global application, so we have users all over the world, to make our application fast, we need to deploy servers in a geographical proximity of our users. So imagine we have users in, in the United States and in Europe. Well, we, we could just run servers in, in one continent and then make the users from the other continent request our our application and cross over a, a whole continent that's that's you know that's fine but if we want to really care about the user experience we would have to you know deploy servers in both continents so we're sure that our geographical proximity is as close as possible to our users now again this is a painful process because we would have to you know possibly deploy deploy our entire application stack on another continent okay so this is a very painful process now, you're probably guessing that I'm going to say that App Engine has us covered in all of these cases, if not most of these cases, if not all. And, you know, it is true. Apple, the, the nice thing about Google App Engine is that it has us covered in all, in all of these cases. And, and we don't have to worry about all of this DevOps or, or operations. We just need to worry about our application.